Hey everybody, Crypto Mentor 99 how you doing? Hey, it's still July the 16th, 2018, early afternoon. I've got Laura Taylor on from the Digibyte Awareness Team. She's a Digibyte Ambassador, which I didn't know we had one till two hours ago. She's a Digibyte Outreach Officer, and this is actually the second video that we're doing today. The first one I'll put in the video link below it's more about um, uh, Digibyte. It's more about Laura's, um, not past, her, um, some stories about her as an educator. But this one's going to be what is a meetup, cryptocurrency meetup, Digibyte meetup. So, Laura, thank you, thank you for staying with me another 20 minutes to talk more about Digibyte. I could talk to you all day. <laughs> day, about day. So, again, let me say it again. I'm going to put in the video description below part one of the video. I guess kind of sort of this would be part two. So, Laura, just in case someone doesn't see the first video, okay, um, as much as you want to tell us about your, your kind of your recent past as like a teacher and you're an award-winning teacher, so as much as you want to kind of, you know, kind of lay the foundation of, you know, a little who you are and why you're doing this. Sure. Um, I, uh, I was a math teacher at, at a community college um, for 14 years. I taught high school before that for a couple of years. And uh, I kind of got into this space about a year and a half ago and found that I was wanting to talk more about blockchain <laughs> than calculus. That's a problem. <laughs> so... Uh, so I uh, decided to focus full effort on community education and creating crypto communities in real life. Okay. So, so I'm that's gonna kind of yeah, I'm gonna beg of the question, as my dad would say. So besides the fact that you're an educator, you've got that teacher in you that just wants to help people and teach. Um, so I'm gonna light a little fire underneath you. What's so big about education? Like, why why is that so important now? Oh, it's well. I think it's it's just knowledge is power. I think, um, and this space is uh, it's just there's there's nothing established really, mm -hmm. you know. And and there's a lot to learn. Like it's there. It's a it's a paradigm shift, and within that, there's a ton of technology. And there's a just, there's just a ton of information that you have to take in to try to get your mind around it. So, um, so I, I'm passionate about getting people educated in the space. There's so many videos on like technical analysis and yeah. you know when's yeah. it gonna moon that kind of stuff, but uh, not not a lot focused on like the more fundamental. Uh, yeah. analysis or the fundamental understanding. Not that I know everything. I'm not a blockchain sure. expert. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, but just I know enough to make me dangerous yeah. and I know enough to be scared of uh, a community with a lack of knowledge. Yeah. And I'm not scared of a community but like yeah. I, I don't think I don't think that technolo this technology is so powerful if we're not educated um it, it doesn't have the potential, the, the same kind of potential. I think we can all participate if we can get educated on it as much as we can. Yeah, no, that's good. So that's that's my, you know, I, my focus on education is just trying to get the word out and put it on people's radars. No, that's great. So in the pre-interview, we said, hey, you know what, let's kind of break down and meet up, you know, who, what, when, where, and why. So, again, simple questions, but... Laura Taylor is going to sh help us shed some light on it. So for those of you that maybe, you know, stumbled across this video and you're like, Digibyte meetup, cryptocurrency meetup. So Laura, let's kind of break it down. What exactly is a, a meetup in general? Just what's a meetup? Sure. It's uh, meetup. Dot com is this uh, online app that you can like set up communities and connect with people and you can like you know join the topics that you like I mean there's meetups for everything right and so uh, so the, a meetup is just a way to coordinate uh, a group getting together and and a crypto meetup to me I mean they you know everybody kind of does their own thing but for me and for my group it's more of a it's more of a crypto study group I mean it probably would be a better hmm. uh, 
a better word or better explanation of it. It's just a group of people trying to figure out what the heck is going on and talk about what they know and what they're interested in. And it's really fun. It's like a crypto party. So uh, maybe I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but oh well, maybe we'll come back here. So tell us about um, like what, not that everyone's meetup obviously needs to look like yours, but tell us, could you walk us through kind of in bite-sized pieces what your cryptocurrency meetup or Digibyte meetups look like and maybe that'll help cast some vision for some of the other sure. people listening? Sure. Um, can I start with like the story? It might help if I tell the story oh, yeah, start of how with we that. came to right. be and then yeah. it will like, it will kind of be, it will make a little more, more sense. You bet. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, so, it's not to tell you how to do your job or anything, but um, so I had gotten it. Yeah, so I had started researching this space. My sister watched a documentary on Bitcoin on, on Netflix. Oh, and if you, if you haven't seen it, you should. I forget the name of it, but just like search it. Um, and she watched it and she called me and she was like, Laura, I think I just... I think this Bitcoin, like, I think this is going to be like the new currency. I think I'm looking at a new currency system. And I was busy. I was teaching a bunch of classes at the time. I was like, whatever, you know, and she kept like patiently, you know, we've all been there patiently proud. I mean, to look a little bit deeper, look a little. So that summer came and I had, you know, started talking with her more and more. And when summer came, I just really dove in and just started researching and, um, and you just kind of go through that rabbit hole. I think everybody kind of has to do that a little bit. And so uh, when I started back in the fall, it was just like all I could think about. And so I told her, I said, I think I'm going to spend a couple of days um, teaching my class just uh, what blockchain is and get them to research it. And she said, they're going to think you're crazy. Like, she's like, you can't say that. You're going to get fired. I'm like, I'm not going to give them investment advice. I'm just going to say, you know, because I taught, you know, I was teaching STEM students. I was teaching Calc 1 and Calc 2. And um, these these kids were going into fields that were going to be yeah. kind of the first fields disrupted. Um, or I, I, I think the word disruption is bad, transformed. I like the word transform better <laughs> just because it's a little more positive. So, and they were early in their college career because I taught at a community college that they could, you know, potentially change their majors or just know how this is going to affect their majors. So, mm -hmm. so I spent a couple of days and I just, you know, talked about it and a uh, few of them got really interested in it. And I talked with some of my colleagues, a couple of my colleagues got interested in it. And so it was, you know, back when it was, everybody was like, Oh, Bitcoin, drug coin, you know, they were doing that kind of talk. So we would, we would like, me in the hall and we would like whisper like whisper about what's going on what do we learn you know and I said this is silly you know I said why don't we all just like every Saturday night we'll just have like a study group and so they would come over and we'd have like sushi and wine and <laughs> talk crypto and it was like so fun it was the most fun and then um one of my students Nicole Rainey uh she's a little go-getter she's a little firecracker and she, she really you know got she got really enamored with the technology mm. and, and the technical analysis. And so she had reached out to a group on Facebook um, called Crypto Watchers. And um, she actually ended up changing uh, the direction of her career through through all of it, which is wow. really exciting to watch her go. But she had brought in um, someone from that group who was also in our town. His name is Matthias McDowell. And he had come to a couple of ours. And we were still pretty small, but we were, you know, People were like, hey, is it okay if I bring my friend? Hey, it's okay. So we were started getting, like, more people. And so Matthias said, you know, Laura, I think this is going to get too big to just do this, like, kind of little group. And he was a, um, a mentor for uh, Tech Mountain, which is a, in our town, it's, it's, it's a, uh, like, a tech, like, incubator, like, startup incubator. So it's just, like, an open space for all these tech startups cool and so he was a mentor for that facility and he went to them and said hey we want to start a you know blockchain cryptocurrency meetup um would you sponsor us and they said sure and so uh the space is absolutely state of the art yeah, you know sure. i felt like yeah. i was walking into an apple store right and so uh so they sponsor us you know we have one a meeting once a month with them and um at like first Thursday of the first Thursday of every month. And they've got this, you know, fantastic facility that we can pipe in people. And so 
uh, Matthias brought in Mark, uh, Mark, I'm oh, sorry, Keith Markfield. And um, so Keith was a programmer. Matthias worked for Cisco Systems. Says, I think he does data analysts. I should probably know this. I'm sorry if I <laughs> say it wrong. I know he's going to watch this. So, um, it's so we all uh, and my colleague Val Melvin, we all kind of got together and planned that first meetup. Wow. And we don't. We only had like six days because they were like, "What day do you want it to be?" And we were looking at their calendars, and the first Thursday happened to be six days out. So, um, we figured every like you know twelve people that show up, and it was like I think it was like fifty people that showed up to that first the meetup, first and I was like, "Whoa!" The first one, fifty k. The first one, and, and some people drove two hours to get there, and. Um, it was just like, um, it was so fun. I kind of, I, I was so, I was really surprised. Like the people I was talking to, the first one was just the networking. We didn't do any presentations or anything. We just wanted to get to know the community. And I was just shocked. Like there was some brilliant people in there. I mean, it wasn't like wind moon people. These are people who are in the industry and, um, and just, just talking with them was just every meeting. Every meetup I have with these people, is, I learned so much. Wow. So it was just super fun. But I walked away, and I was all giddy. And I just – I thought of – have you ever seen that movie um, Over the Rainbow? It's about, like <laughs> – it's about Munchkin Land, like when they when they filmed that, and then they got all those actors together in one place, and they had never seen, you know, people just like them all in one place, and they kind of freaked out. That's what a crypto meetup's like. It's like you all get together, and you're like, oh, you know what I'm talking about. You, it's like, like I've been speaking Zimbabwe, and nobody speaks Zimbabwe, and you go in a room, and everybody speaks Zimbabwe. You know, like it's just one of those things where you feel like an instant connection, and so it was exciting. Um, and so from there. We, uh, because we, we had the, the technology to conference people in, it really expanded what we could do. And yeah. so the first couple meetups, we just did our own presentations. We did, um, you know, presentation on security and wallets and, you know, just the basic, basic stuff. Um, and then I was researching Hashgraph and I couldn't understand their consensus algorithm. And I watched the videos and I read the papers. And not that I'm like some brainiac about this stuff, but I like to have a general knowledge and I just couldn't wrap my head around it. So I was like, you know what? I mean, we can teleconference people in. So I just emailed them and said, hey, we've got a meetup. Could you guys pipe in? And they connected us with their lead architect and um, and he, you know, teleconferenced in. Wow. And we were able to record it and it would, and it, answer you know he, he we were able to ask questions and he could answer I mean, it was just a really I like I like knowing about the projects and I like knowing about them from the people who are kind of high in them like or deep in them uh, started them or you know what I mean like so so we realized we had this potential and that's the fun thing about right now we're so early that and people want to get there they want to talk about their projects they want to reach out so you know i've you know like i reached out to josiah and i was like hey i'm really into digibyte could you could you pipe in he was like sure no problem i mean we had to do a special one because he's in new zealand we had to do a special day for that but but it was still like super fun to be able to talk with people who are so um, knowledgeable uh, about their specific projects. So, and so we have just blown up and we were, we're getting, uh, we also have a couple of local um, blockchain companies, KWH Coin and how oh, I forget the name of the gaming system, Elite Gaming. They're, they're two local blockchain companies that are going to present next month. So it's just nice, you know, like people just want to come talk. So you know, having a meetup is so fun right now because you're getting access to people that maybe three years from now or even two years from now we won't have access to them you know it's no that's, and they that's want good. to talk to us yeah well so what i've kind nice. of found too and again you know even though i've been not doing these youtube videos um for three years actually next month it'll be a year august 14th but i found and i'm still astonished by this I found that how like when you said like you try to get a hold of Jared, he replied, I have found the people so like yourself, so cordial, kind. Um, it's like 
again, I don't want to get too far off, not in the deep end, but irregardless of your politics, irregardless if right. you've got a background of faith, irregardless, it's like, let's talk about this. Let's just stay in our lane and, I mean, not be superficial, but I mean, we. I don't have to know, you know, that you're this or that, or it's just, right. it's, again, it sounds a little like no, an old I, guy and talking. I, I would say yeah. I think you're totally on point, and, and, and it's one of the things that excites me about it because it does um, break away that we're all we're all in this new learning uh, process, and we you know we kind of have to work together yeah. to get the information out in a quality way, but as quickly as possible because it's you know it's happening now. Yeah, so that's good. yeah, that's good. I agree. But I've found again, even when I do some interviews with some other people they're just oh sure absolutely you know you know they want to do their interview and talk on my schedule I'm like hey I'm just a little guy whenever you're available I'll make time you know so it's just yeah. I found it very as kind of looking over the past three years very refreshing very different from what I thought and even what you just said uh, like when you have speakers they want to come in and talk they they're yeah, more than happy exciting. to share well, and they're excited to answer the questions, I think, you know, and they're patient to, I'm sure, answer the same question a thousand times, but they're, but they, they want to educate us. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and we just need to be receptive to it. Uh, but the opportunity to have a, a, a powerful group meeting session with whether, and we've also had like our local people like talking with during the meetups, we always network for an hour or two after mm. we do any sort of presentation and just walk around talking and members of our group like our miners, we're going to have a session on people talking about mining and um, security experts and, and they they were like, hey, we'd like to, we'd like to present. And so, you know, you have these, we have these project leaders, you know, from across the world, but then you also have like this pool of people and you'll be really, really surprised. Like yeah. we're all in our little crypto closets. When you let people, you know, walk out in the open, you'd be, you'd be amazed how many people know things that they want to share. Yeah. Yeah. So I hear you saying this, I'm going to say it a different way. So your meetups aren't necessarily, well, certainly from what you've been saying the last 10 minutes, um, only about Digibyte for sure, correct? Yeah. Right. Well, I and I started. We started our meetup before I knew about Digibyte. Oh, okay. Um, okay. And so, but like the minute I figured out about, it, I was like, "What? Uh, <laughs> we need to get somebody in here like that." Um, and so we were able to get Josiah in like a month after I um, after I kind of started researching Digibyte, and my and then my whole team. I was like freaking out about it and yelling at my team, I'm like, "You gotta look at this because they're all minors." And I was like, "It's got five, you know." And so, then after Josiah, everyone was like, uh, I think I'm going to give me a little Digibyte. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was really, that was pretty fun. Um, but, you know, and it, I think even if you have a Digibyte-specific meetup, um, it doesn't have to just be, right. like, a Digibyte topic. Because this, you know, you have to have, you have to have safety, you have to have understanding. So, you, you've got to, you got to first kind of work through the fundamentals, just at that first layer and then you can dig deeper um, is, is what I found for our group and then they have this like base knowledge uh, that we can work off of. Yeah, no that's good. So this past weekend, so it's Monday early afternoon here and over the weekend, um, again I'm kind of shaking my head going, it was kind of a world when I had a um, I found, well, I guess I'm just going to say the name. It's not some big thing. So there was my first ICO, June of 2017. I'm not shilling it. It's just, it's Zinfin, X-I-N-F-I-N. And I found it, and they're in Singapore, and the, all the team is from India. How they landed in Singapore, I'll get that story someday. But just nice people, and I'm not their ambassador, but I do a lot of, videos on Zinfin and I've just found them to be I kind of lost my train of thought um, but I just found them so engaging and so nice that I'm like I mean even some of the higher level le higher level leaders what you know again even though it's decentralized you know they email me back they're nice and 
I did a couple of, um, now I'm way off the subject. I did a couple of like women's luncheons here in town for some underserved and underprivileged women and, and their children that my wife and I do every year. And they were more than happy to, happy to help sponsor it. So it's wow, just, that's awesome. yeah, it's just all these, again, I'm a little, a little embarrassed. No, I, I lost my train of thought, but just no, the, you, these meetups and these people, it's just, again, I know that we're not all best friends, but it still blows my mind, you know? Well, I think, yeah, I, I, no, I totally understand. I think that, I think that people are really generous, you know, um, the, the good, the good projects, um, to me, they have a they have a generous streak to them that you know I look for that I resonate with. That's one of the reasons why I like Digibyte because of their work with David Hay. You know, um, so it is refreshing, and yeah. and they are kind, and and they're yeah. generous with their time. And you know, oh, I know where I was going with this. So when I did the video, sorry, thank you for your <laughs> yeah. Now I'm back on track. When I did the video of the Digibyte awareness team. Um, I did it, you know, threw it up on my YouTube channel, whatever. And like two days later, Rudy, you know, he emailed or no, no, he direct messaged me on Facebook and he said, Hey, did you see Josiah and Jared liked your video? And you know what I said? Who's Josiah and who's Jared? I'm like, I, they're like, you don't know who that is. I'm like, no, should I? He's like, uh, yeah. Those would be two names. <laughs> if you're doing Digibyte videos, you may want to have a little understanding on it. But again, <laughs> just so gracious and, hey, thanks for doing the video. I'm like, hey, I, I wasn't even looking for a pat on the back. Anyhow, right. but so your, your, your meetups, it's, uh, again, I'm paraphrasing, it's a little bit of everything, huh? Yeah, we, and, and we collaborate. I mean, we've got a, our meetup. Um, planning team is really just phenomenal like everybody kind of has different interests like Matthias is uh, a minor and has become like almost like a minor consultant like he's helping wow. other people set up their systems and Keith is a programmer he's kind of our he's our tech guy um, Val is uh, she's like an amazing researcher and so she researches projects and puts it on our radar and we discuss like if this is somebody we want to reach out to um, and I'm kind of that same way where I'm just kind of like what's out there and and that's the fun thing about this space right now is all you got to do is ask yeah. and that kind of opportunity we're just so not used to having. Yeah. Um, and so, I mean, I was shocked when Hashgraph responded to me. I was like, what? I mean, yeah. like, I was like, I'll never hear back from that. So you really just, I and mean, the worst they can say is no. And so we've really kind of tried to expand our, our reach. And we also um, are a part of a national meetup leaders group. Um, we have a Telegram and a Slack channel. So we're, you know, like when Josiah came on ours, we posted our video and then we said, hey, if you want to reach out to this guy, and we've got people from DC, New York, Richmond. Um, wow. Or we're growing, but uh, but we're just sharing speakers and resources because you want to vest some of them. You know, you don't want BitConnect coming and presenting to yeah. your teams or to your members. So yeah. it's a way for us to share like good projects that are valid um, and just ideas of how they like Atlanta's meetup. I think has three thousand people, and, and New York's meetup has five thousand people. And I asked, I had Michael Tidwell is the um, is the like kind of one of the one of the founders of the Atlanta meetup, and I said, "How you know, you know, how different is it in a bull market?" And he said, "You know, like as far as your attendance." And he goes, well, "We can go from like 250 people to you know 800 or more people when the market turns." And Crazy. and I was like, "Uh oh, we better get ready." So we, you know, being one step ahead, I think we are probably getting ready to have the market turn, and I think we're going to see a new influx of people coming into these meetups that you know, want information and want to know what's going on when it starts kind of getting back in the news in a positive light. Yeah. You know, you said something about 10 minutes ago that maybe it's a good time to slip in here, and I never thought about it, and I've been thinking about it and then talking and trying to think about it. It's so, again, it's so new still that... Um, and again, I'm a paraphrasing that the people that not that we're special that we have access to now in a couple yeah. of years, 
that window may may or may not close, but yeah, you know, but it's the relationships in life that you form. I don't want to say it this way, but I have to before people get famous or a public figure. Um, like in my hometown, back in Illinois, there was a guy that grew up with, and I don't want to get political here, but it's just a story. He grew up with Bill Clinton, and when Bill would come to like Chicago, he would go to this guy's house and visit, but everybody didn't know that they kind of grew up together. So right. he knew Bill before he became Bill Clinton. And I don't know, I just think it's it's inevitable. That's not why I do the YouTube videos and that's not why you were a passionate educator. But I think in years to come, people go, Laura, you know, and then fill in the blank. Oh yeah, I knew yeah, him back and, in 19... And it's so funny, I see it. I'm like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we have Josiah Spackman. I can't believe we have, you know, the lead architect from Hashcraft. You know, like that's, I, I see this getting really big as mass adoption happens. Yeah. And I'm super grateful to be able to talk directly with these people. Yeah. So in the first. For my, my members to have access to them. Yeah, right. So in the first video, um, which again, people are, are going to love that. I always give the. Um, of the guest speaker, which is obviously you, kind of the last word, the last say, the last, you know, is there anything that's kind of going around in your gray matter going, oh man, I forgot to bring that up, or oh, I want to say one more thing about whatever. Right. I'd like to end it, like, uh, I would I would say it's, it's really quite easy to start a meetup. I mean, you really just, you know, get on the website put it up there and I'm telling you if you build it they, yeah, will, come. they will come even if right. it's just you and a couple of friends just put it out there it will grow and we went from we went from six people to over 200 people in like four months so wow. it you know just put yourself out there and, and just you know make a space for people to gather and it doesn't yeah. have to be fancy like we were super lucky to have Tech Mountain sponsor us but you don't have to have a sponsor you can meet at a park you can meet at the beach you yeah. can you know go to a restaurant but um you know, it's very easy, and um, and I think for the the Digibyte movement, we have a, such a strong, passionate community, and you know, I, I like my dream of dreams would be that we have Digibyte meetups all over the world, and that we can connect those meetup leaders to each other, kind of like what we're doing yeah. with the national, just yeah. general meetup leaders, yeah. and and. When you do that, when you can connect those larger groups together, um, it becomes like that network effect becomes so much more powerful. You can share and collaborate on, uh, on ideas and what works and what doesn't and just strengthen your community. And I think, you know, we have a very strong online community and yeah. I would really love to see us have a very strong um uh, real life community or physical community I think it needs uh, to be a hybrid of both of those things as mass adoption comes online we're not you know we're, we're still we're still early so it's yeah. nice to start this now so you have an infrastructure for people to come to it's hard to start those when Bitcoin's fifty thousand yeah. dollars and everybody's running around like a chicken with their head I, cut off so right. it's yeah. it's nice and I was I felt very fortunate that we were able to start before it got you know too crazy um, and so I would encourage everybody listening to you know talk to people in real life and 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 talk to your friends and come up with a group that wants to start a meetup. And it's just a fun party, really. Yeah. It's just super yeah. fun. And like you said, people are kind. They're kind in those meetups too. You know, they're they're patient and they're kind and they and they get excited to see new people. They get excited to help people because they know the more people that understand this, the more people that are participating, the stronger it's going to be. And it has the potential to solve. This technology has the potential to solve problems that we thought were never. Yeah solvable yeah and so you know when you see it like that people are just excited to see more people so i would say i would encourage everybody to go if, if there's already a meetup in your town and you don't want to start a new one then join that meetup and talk about digibyte you know explain it to people and participate with them that would be my my big message so. no that's awesome well there you had everybody laura taylor digibyte ambassador digibyte outreach officer Laura, again, it's been an honor, and I mean it, an honor and a privilege for me to interview you. We will do this again, and as always, thanks for being so kind 
educational and informative because I needed this today. I don't know about anybody oh. else. I needed it. So thank you. Well, thanks for having me. All right. We'll be back in touch. Okay. Bye-bye.